Hey everybody, this is Verna from Stampin' Notes. Happy Monday. Um, I am just checking out my Facebook page to make sure we're up and going here. And looks like we are okay. This is Monday, July 11th, 2022. And we're, we're gonna make um, Okay, I just got something about my frame rate. It is too low. I have no idea what that means. Two seconds. Um, okay, so hopefully we'll get through this okay and I can go back and revisit that. Um, anyways, we're going to make, sorry for the... Um, confusion, but we're going to make this um, beautiful little note card holder. And there are four note cards inside. And they are made with the wonderful world um, designer series paper. There's no stamping on the cards, you'll see in a minute. And the wonderful world um, stamp set right here. So I just want to make sure, go back and make sure And we'll get that enlarged up there. Hey, Margaret. Hey, Cher. Thank you for sharing. Share and comment, and you'll be put into a drawing for um, some kind of, well, I know what kind of gems it'll be. It's these 2021-2023 in-color opal rounds. They go with a lot of different things, and they're really pretty. Yep, Sharon is my sister. And nice to have you on here, sis. Mom has problems with her computer and she won't be able to get on. So um, tonight uh, she might have to take it for repair, which is too bad. Anyways, uh, these cards are made with this designer series paper and this beautiful stamp set. These come together free with a $100 order right now until August 31st. And um, here's a couple, a card I made with that stamp set. It's just, there's no fancy coloring, just black ink sponging around the edge. And then I used one of our fabulous frames there and a piece of designer series paper in the background. This is another one done a little bit lighter with a white baker's twine on it. So um, let me show you what these cards look like. And this is our card holder. I do have a free PDF for this. And if it's free to anyone, if you place an order of $35 or more in my online store between now and Thursday, the 14th at midnight, I will send you the kit to make the cards and this card holder. Um, and you have to use this host code here at checkout, DDGVVVHB. And it's also posted in the PDF tutorial, so you have that. Cards are so pretty, and, and there's no stamping. I fussy cut the flowers from that designer series paper. There's one sheet of just large flowers. And um, added a little bit of uh, columns here, uh, basic white and designer series paper down the center. Done the envelope um, to match. Here's another one. And I fussy cut another flower. I'll show you that sheet in a minute. Here's the matching envelope. Um, here's another one. This looks like iris to me. And this one is horizontal. And also, hey Rosalie. Uh, this is my favorite. I love the colors of light pink and the, with the yellow. So um, if you don't have this, this is a beautiful paper to invest in. And then the little card note card holder is right here. And I'll show you how to make this. Um, it's with the piece of designer series paper from that pack. And then I wanted to use Velcro dots to close it and I couldn't find them. So I've got <clears throat> some of the sheer, the new sheer sea foam ribbon on here to close that. And I like that, it turned out good that way. 
So the card is very simple, and as I said, there's no stamping. Um, the most, what you have to do is fussy cut the flowers from the large sheet. Let me show you that large sheet. I may, I've cut them up. I've used a lot of it, so I may, maybe I don't have any of it left. Let us take a look here and see. There's those. Um, there's another sheet here that has these, and you can punch them out with the postage stamp punch, and you can place them on the front of the car. Okay, I'm not seeing it. Well, here's a piece of it. So there's this 12 by 12 piece with all of these different um, flower shapes in it, and they are what I have fussy cut to put on the front here. So let's fussy cut our shape that we're going to use tonight. And I'll just talk a little bit about fussy cutting. I don't mind doing it. Um, I find it kind of relaxing, but, you know, some people may not enjoy that. <laughs> but anyways, here's our piece that we're going to use. And um, when you're fussy cutting, what you want to do is... You want to turn your paper and try not to turn your scissors. So I'm just, in general, going to go around these sprigs here. Come back out. I'll do a little more detail fussy cutting here. What else is going on? Um, Stampin' in the Valley is July 28th. That's Thursday at the Canisteo American Legion from 6.30 to 8.30. I'm excited about that. You will make um, six cards, three, two each of three different designs. And the cost is free with a qualifying order of $25, or you can pay the $20. So that will be fun. And if there's one scheduled for... Uh, July, August, and September, and I hope to do it um, through the year. Um, and I thought, well, maybe we can do like a stamp camp down there. That would be cool. Have like an all-day get-together. With a lunch, they will provide the food. I can, they can, um, we can order food th through them for lunch. So, all right, I'm not going to cut down in here. You could, but it'll still be pretty without doing that. So I'm just kind of, I'm not being particularly um, super careful. I am trying to leave a bit of a white line around the edge as I go here. And we'll go back up along this here. Okay, so there's our fussy cut image. Flower, I would guess it's a lily. And I'm going to bring in my um, card stock. This is eight and a half by five and a half thick whisper white card stock. It's scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of that same designer series paper. And this is the piece I have. Actually, I think I will go this way with the yellow. And I'm bringing in my multi-purpose liquid glue. And I'm just going to layer this on there. We seem to be a little bit plugged here. It's a hot one here today. Boy, do we sure need rain. The yard just crunches when you walk on it. It's been quite a while since we've had a good, a nice rain. 
Okay, we're just going to center that on there like that. And then I have a piece of basic white, and this is five and a quarter by one and a quarter. And we're going to layer this on here. If you hear like a snoring, <laughs> it's um, uh, my son's French bulldog. They're on vacation and we have him and he is just a dozing away right now. I will take his picture and upload it so you guys can see him. His name is Bo, but we have a lot of fun with him. Can you hear him snoring? He's laying on the carpet. He gets really excited when he sees a rabbit in the yard and tries to chase them, but he's not successful at catching them. Okay, I'm just going to center this piece in the middle of um, the other column I have on there, and this is one inch by five and a quarter. Okay, and I'm going to lay this on here with dimensionals. And this is, these are very pretty, very easy to make. There's, you could stamp and put a sentiment on them. I have not done that. I'm just loading this up with dimensionals. Okay. And I'm going to take the Take Your Pick tool and just take this backing off. You can... Right now, if you're interested in signing up um, or buying the starter kit, oops, I ripped my paper. Oh no, I ripped it right off there. Um, there's a beautiful, beautiful uh, planner that is free with a starter kit. And I did not order it in the pre-order. I meant to and didn't. I'm going to see if I can salvage this. And I wish I had because... All right, I think I'm going to try putting a larger bow on that. I was going to use Baker's twine, but um, I'm going to use this and make a bow. Okay, we want to go this way. The link um, below this um, Facebook video um, so you can visit my blog and download the PDF. The PDF is free, it has all the supplies, and I'm going to put it up kind of high like that. All the supplies and the measurements. And there's pictures of all the cards. And the measurements for each card. And then also for the note card holder. All right, so that doesn't look too, well, you can see it a little. Um, so probably, Let's just add a gem, a couple of gems. Let's see what somehow we're crooked here. Um, add one there. 
one down here, one up here maybe, like that. And then you could do the inside however you want. This one, you could put um, a sentiment on it. So um, this one, there's this one here, this one, and they all have matching envelopes. This one here, and this one. And I'll show you how I do the envelope. So for the envelope, you need a piece of designer series paper that is six by two and a quarter. And I'm gonna grab my trimmer here. It's an easy way to really dress up your envelopes and they look beautiful. So I'm gonna go put this at six and cut that quarter. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to lay it out flat like this. You're going to take your glue and just run it along the edge of the envelope flat. Just like that. You're going to lay this on the flap like that. You turn it over and we're just going to trim this. Remember you're trying not to, you're trying to do any turning or with your paper right here. You're trying to turn your paper instead of your scissors and your cut will be smoother. Okay, so there's our flap for the card. So then you have a beautiful card and a nice matching flap. All right, let's do the note uh, card holder. And I'm bringing in my trimmer. I think I have one 12 by 12 piece, so this is gonna be it. All right, now um, this uh, envelope, note card, envelope holder, note card holder, um, it, this idea came from Dawn Griffith at Dawn's Stamping Thoughts, and she made some for the small envelopes and note cards that we have, and so I modified the measurements for it, and so we're going to start with a piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper. Um, if you use cardstock, it'll, card it'll be pretty heavy. We're going to cut this down to 8 and 1 8 by 12. So I'm going to pull the arm out on my trimmer. And the paper went on the floor. I'm grab that. Okay, so we're gonna go, and again, the funny noises are the dog, in case you hear funny noises, it's Bo. All right, so we're trimming that to 12 by eight and an eighth. All right, now on this um, shorter side here, we're gonna score it at one half inch. You want to make sure this is lined up all the way down. You move this over so you can see it better. Okay. And this is lighter color blade is a scoring blade. We're going to score that at one half inch. And then at one inch. And then we're going to do it on the other side too. So I'm just going to turn this over. We're going to score this at 
half an inch. Let me move this down a little. And one inch. All right, so we've scored um, each of this, this side and this side at half an inch and one inch. Now we're gonna turn this and we're gonna score um, this long side at two and three quarters right here. Designer series paper, just don't press really hard because you could press right. So two and three quarters, and this one is three and a quarter. Then we're going to score at eight and a quarter. And eight and three quarters. All right. We're done with the paper trimmer. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this over. I don't know if you can see it. There is an end here, this rectangle. There's a rectangle here, a big space in the middle, and then a rectangle here. So this, this rectangle, this end is smaller. You probably can't see it on the video. This is gonna be the bottom of your box, okay? So I'm gonna start on the other end. This is the bottom here. And I'm going to trim all of this off, the half inch and the one inch, all the way up to the top score line, which is right here. All right, so I'm coming in with my scissors. I'm going right up the side here. And I'm going up to the top score line. There was one score line here. I'm going to this one, All right? And then we're gonna cut this off. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're starting, there's a half inch score line and the one inch. We're starting on the one inch. all the way up to the second horizontal score line, which is right there. And we're gonna cut this off. All right, um, so now we're gonna take our bone folder and we're gonna fold it. I'm gonna fold here. Um, I think I want the purple to be on the outside. Fold here and just gently burnish it. And then there's another fold at half an inch away. We're gonna burnish that. And then on this end, well, let's do our flaps first. We're gonna burnish that, and then we're gonna burnish this on both sides. Like that. Okay, so hold up. This is gonna, we got two creases there. Okay, so where the these flaps are, this is the bottom right here. Okay, and now look at my paper. I should have had the bottom on the opposite end because this is gonna be upside down on the inside. So if you're somebody that that's really gonna bother, um, you wanna make check that out before you, I think I didn't, my other one I didn't have that problem to think about, so I didn't think about it with this. Um, you wanna make sure your pattern is going the right way. All right, 
So on these two little flaps here, we're gonna put some tear and tape because tear and tape is super strong. I'm gonna turn it over. You, you want something that's gonna hold well. And then down here, And Bo's having a good snooze, as you can probably hear. He's in the recliner. Snoozing away. What a life. Okay, so there's tape there. And this um, Take Your Pick tool works really well to get this tape off, to pull it up. It has so many different functions. It is a, it's something that you would want to invest in and get. All right, so now we're ready to put our side up. And I'm just folding this in. I'm going to bring this up. like that. I'm just going to press that down and I'm going to turn this in. Right along the edge there. Press that down. Uh, today too is the last day to sign up for the Sweet Notes Card Club and I'll show you that. Let me grab that before I finish this. If you're interested, um, it features the Sweetest Cherries cards and the new In Color Designer Series paper. These are the cards. And today you can email me at vernastamps at gmail.com. Um, you get all the supplies to make two of each of these, plus around $20 worth of product. And the um, priority shipping, uh, PDF tutorial, and a video tutorial. So um, I really love this set. And this is the, using the bundle. There's a cherry punch and a cherry stamp set with these really cool sentiments and that cool font. Okay. So we've got our pocket made here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run a piece of tear and tape across the back in preparation for our ribbon. It might be a little too low. Well, I'm gonna leave it there now. Okay, I guess it'll work. And then I had a piece of um, one inch designer series paper going across here on this one. It's one and a quarter by, I believe this was six and a quarter. One and a quarter by six and a quarter. So let's do that small petite flower pattern. Actually, let's do this. So I'm going to do one and a quarter. By six and a quarter. It might be a little long, but we can trim it off. Actually, I like these flowers on this end the color better. So let's do those. Yeah. All right. And get our adhesive here.
Okay, that looks pretty good. And then um, I'm gonna round these edges here. I don't have the new trio punch with a corner rounder. I have the old one, but there's a new one out I would love to get. We're just gonna round those to make, soften that up a little bit. And we're gonna bring in our take your pick tool. I'm just gonna lift this backing up here. All right, so the soft sea foam ribbon, I think I had 34 inches of it. I, um, you wanna make sure you have enough to do your bow. There's nothing worse than getting your ribbon going and you don't have enough for a bow. All right, so find the middle or the approximate middle, and that is going to go right in the center of the back of this. And then we have our little envelope made and ready to put our cards in like that. And then this would tie across the front. I have to straighten it out. There we go. It's hard to do it because I don't have cards in here to to hold it up. But anyways, you get the gist of it. So if you are interested in the kit for these, if you place an order in my online store, I will send you the envelopes, all the pieces to create um, these cards. You will have to fussy cut out your flowers, but you will have the designer series paper to do that. And also to make um, the note card holder and you need to use this host code at checkout. Um, and the order should be placed a $35 order or more in my online store by Thursday at midnight, which is July 14th. So I, and I will have a link to the free PDF in the comments below this video. So I, I hope you have a great evening and there will be no um, Farm Fresh cards Wednesday because I have an out of town medical appointment. And But we'll be back um, next Monday night and then the following Wednesday. So take care. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.